Okay, the dissolve is one that is very popular, and that one crossfades between one video and the next video. So if I drag this down here, it's going to fade between these two clips. Um, we can take a look at that if we just hit play. And every time, if you notice, when I add these transitions down here, you see this little green bar up here. And that's indicating that it's currently rendering the transition in the background so that when we go to play it, it plays smoothly. So if I hit play now, we know that it's already done rendering out. We can hit play and we can see exactly what that's going to look like. Now, this transition currently is one second long and it's going to go pretty quick. So I'm just going to take a look and there it goes. So if we want to adjust the transition, what we need to do is double click on it just like we would a clip and it's going to show us the transition that we have selected and it's going to show us where it starts and where it stops and it also will allow us to change that default transition uh, time so if we want this to be a uh, two second transition instead of a one second then we go ahead and set that to two and as soon as we hit play down here it's going to adjust it and you'll see it down in the timeline here um, and then, of course, once, it's, once it does that, it's going to have to re-render that transition again as well. But um, you can change all the settings from this transition uh, window right here. And once again, it's very similar to the trim window um, that we use to edit the in and out points of our video clips. So that's how the um, transitions are edited. And uh, the next thing we want to do is take a look and see how we can apply, if we have a transition that we like, we want to be able to apply this transition to all of the video clips that we have in our timeline. So the way you can do that is to go ahead and select them. And I'm just going to click down right here and I'm going to draw a box around all, the all of the clips that I want to add that transition to. And then I can right click here and choose Ripple Transition. When I do that, it goes ahead and adds that transition to all of the clips. Okay, um, so that's an easy way to get all of the transitions in there very quickly and easily without trying to go and add them all manually.